We're very excited about the updates with Mamelodinib, particularly the most recent results of Momentum. We now have data both in the front line, the second line setting, showing the, the importance of mamelodinib. The momentum study clearly showed in the second line setting for patients that were symptomatic and anemic that mamelodinib was one very effective in reducing spleen symptoms and improving anemia, including the development of transfusion independence, and two, it was vastly superior for the control arm of danazol which was both an active control arm, but arguably the only other option people really have for difficult anemia with the disease. I think this really complements data we already had, especially from Simplify 1, where in a randomized frontline study, you know, it was shown that mamelodinib was non-inferior for the reduction of spleen, was very active for the reduction of symptoms, you know, and had a benefit in anemia. There is a potential FDA approval in 2023 and I think that that will likely play a key role in terms of second-line therapy for individuals, but likely frontline therapy for individuals with significant anemia.